Welcome to another edition of Joe's Record Store Crazy Rewinds, and it's all about cassettes, and every now and then, a video cassette. And maybe if it's something extra special, collectible, I might not have anything to play it on, an 8-track, or a beta, but mainly audio cassettes. And right here I have this... Uh, true extreme metal treasure here at war from the uh, Virginia Beach area just across the water from my old hometown in Newport News Virginia and uh, this is their debut I believe it was independent but it's uh, ordered to kill came out in 1986 and of course you know that era in the 80s was the height of the action movies the you know shoot 'em up commando raid movies and um, and uh, the uh, main band members, especially the bassist vocalist, he's really into military regalia and you know weapons and that type of thing. And that's usually the um, yeah the uh, theme of the songs. You know, they sing about going on you know missions and battles and you know black ops operations and all that if call of duty had a theme song soundtrack these guys would definitely be up for the challenge and they really respect our vets look at that cool rickenbacker vase and uh... i got the cassette really cheap because actually they're cds because they're such a highly sought after items by uh... By thrash metal collectors, metal collectors, and um, yeah, so the cassette was relatively cheap and playable, so uh, I bought it and uh, I gave it a couple plays. Excellent speed. If you can imagine the best of Venom, the best of Mo, the heaviest and hardest of Venom, and the heaviest of Motorhead combined with a old Metallica and Slayer thrown in the mix I mean you have at war just all American in your face aggressive heavy you know s speed slash thrash metal and this device here this is uh, my tape to digital converter I just I bought it it was about 30 bucks originally it was in my Amazon shopping cart for quite a while over a year and then I finally you know, okay, I bought it because I'm really setting up house now, and because um, Panama is my my permanent home, and uh, so I have a lot of stuff in the archives I'm going to be bringing in, and you know, starting to set up my little um, musical library. I have a big ton of cassettes that I've had literally since you know my teenagers, some going back as far as junior high. And you know, some secondhand tapes I bought, you know, because I'm a collector. Some new cassettes I bought, and uh, I want to transfer it to digital because that's some serious history. I mean, a lot of my tapes are like a couple decades old, and you know, it seemed like you know just a little while ago I was a high school kid, that, you know, bringing these home from shows or you know underground mail order from the you know fanzines and mag metal magazines. So I got a lot of great stuff that you know. I just want to, you know, save this music for, you know, the people that grew up with it, and also for the next generation of thrashers to enjoy. I mean, I'll go to Hangar 18 in Panama City or Billy Can and I meet these, you know, younger guys that, you know, really, you know, they love the old school thrash metal. Now you have these new school thrash metal bands and speed metal. They're or power metal they're trying to you know relive the 80s I mean it's 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 a real trip scene you know you know especially now in this day and age like you know 18 to 20 some year olds trying to you know look and sound like you know they're in 1985 but um, yeah this is it really really good good stuff I mean you know stuff that I literally from you know different all over the world and you know really good stuff and uh, 
Of course, I'm going to buy another laptop. Um, the laptop I have is, you know, it's, I've had it, all, it's kind of old now. I've had it since uh, 2011, and the way I go through computers, I mean, I've used it a lot. I mean, like, sometimes literally all day, every day. And, um, of course, and I started a new work project, so I'll be busy a lot. I won't be able to, you know, belt out the videos as often as I have before because I'll be pretty busy and, you know, I got some, you know, personal, uh, you know, property and account issues to set because, like I said, this is my home and then, uh, yeah, I won't, you know, I won't be leaving Latin America anymore, you know, except I'll be making another trip to Europe later in South Africa or, you know, whichever comes first and, uh, but you know, just you know, some real music history that I tend to use this to to save and preserve. But like I said, I'm gonna wait till I have like a totally brand new laptop. I mean, I don't think I'm even gonna use that bugger for the internet. It's gonna be used for, you know, strictly for, you know, audio files, music preservation, and you know, maybe I can, you know, transfer some of my old music videos to digital, and that'll be my storage. And uh, and that's you know what I'd be listening to and playing with, and then you know the old tapes and you know records and what have you, you know they'll just be there for like you know, my my personal nostalgia museum pieces. And I got lots more to show you later. Thanks again for watching Joe's Record Store, and yeah, I don't care if you think I'm a fossil, I still think cassettes are awesome. Rock on.